students welcome back in our pilot session so in our pilot session we are discussing about the very interesting lesson that is nothing but what cell okay that is what structure and the functions of the cell we are discussing up till now we have discussed so many points and now today we will move for the next point from the same lesson that is today we will discuss about the cell organelle okay so when we, we were discussing about the cytoplasm that time we have discussed about that in the cytoplasm there are the so many cytoplasmic bodies are suspended and that cytoplasmic bodies are only called as what cell organelles okay so these are the different small organs which are present in the cytoplasm and which performs the different functions for the proper functioning of the cell so let's discuss each and every cell organ deeply one by one we will start with first one that is what mitochondria okay so see first i will show explain you all these structures and one by one i will show you the images for the cell okay so see here this is what mitochondria so see in the image this is what mitochondria okay so now what is meant by the mitochondria so the mitochondria are a small and a rod shaped structure which is present in a cytoplasm okay so the mitochondria is a small and a rod type so rod structure which is present in a cytoplasm and their work is to uh, produce the energy and it gives the energy for the cell to perform the different activities but how the cytoplasm uh, how the mitochondria is giving the energy for the cell so they are doing they are using the oxygen they break down the food and by doing that they are releasing the energy and that energy is get utilized by the cell to perform the different work okay so in this way the mitochondria provides the energy for the cell to perform its different activity and that is the reason the mitochondria is called as the power house of the cell okay the mitochondria is called as power house of the cell so this is the first cell organelle we have discussed that is what mitochondria small and rod shaped structure gives the energy to the cell with the help of the respiration process we can say that and also it is also called as what power house of the cell now next one we will discuss about the vacuoles okay so see in the image how it is exactly vacuoles okay so this is about what vacuoles we will discuss now so what is meant by the vacuoles so the vacuoles are the sac like structures which are present in the cytoplasm the vacuoles are the sac like structure which are present in the cytoplasm and in our previous point we have discussed that in the plant cell the vacuoles are shift are in a big size and that is the reason they shift the nucleus to the periphery okay so here what we can say that the vacuoles is present in the plant cell in a big size the vacuoles which is present in a plant cell it is a large in size while it is often be present in the animal cell if it is present in the animal cell then it is a small and very few in a numbers okay very important thing vacuoles are present in both the plant cell and the animal cell but in the plant cell the size of the vacuoles is very large and if it is present in the animal cell then the size is very small and they are also very less in a number very few in a number okay so this is about what vacuoles they are the sac like structure so now what is the work of this vacuole so this vacuole stores the digested food secretion of the cell and the different enzymes in it and they mix all these things into the water and then form one liquid substance and then their liquid substance is called as what cell sac it is called as what cell sac okay so what is the work of the vacuole it stores the digested food it stores the different waste and also it stores the secretion of the cell and they dissolve all this thing into the water and then it forms what cell sac okay then it forms what cell sac okay now the next one we will discuss that is what endoplasmic reticulum now what is mean by the endoplasmic reticulum see in the image how it is exactly endoplasmic reticulum in both the plant cell and in the animal cell okay so this endoplasmic reticulum is nothing but the network of the tubules and the channels okay rough endoplasmic reticulum is the network of the tubules and channels like right? the the rough the endoplasmic reticulum are like tubes we can say or the channels like this there so many tubes are together we can say 
element that okay so the network of the tubes and the channels is there okay so that is what endoplasmic reticulum what is the work of the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum involved in the synthesis of storage of and the transport of the different cell products also protein and the different hormones okay so this endoplasmic reticulum synthesize store and transport different cell products also we transport synthesize and store the proteins and different hormones okay so here i want to tell you one more thing is that the endoplasmic reticulums are of two types okay there are the two types of the endoplasmic reticulum that we can say as what soft endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay soft endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum now what is meant by this soft endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum so on the rough endoplasmic reticulum there is a presence of ribosomes okay there are the presence of ribosomes what is meant by ribosomes that we are going to see in the next point okay so now you have to keep in mind is what rough endoplasmic reticulum means what the endoplasmic reticulum which contains the ribosomes on it then it is called as what rough endoplasmic reticulum okay rough endoplasmic reticulum so the short form we are using that is what r e r rough endoplasmic reticulum on the other hand opposite to that the endoplasmic which doesn't have the ribosomes on it then it is called as what soft endoplasmic reticulum okay so if the ribosomes are present then it is rough if the ribosomes are absent then it is what soft endoplasmic reticulum so this is all about what endoplasmic reticulum now we will discuss about the next point that is what ribosomes okay now see the image of the plant cell and the animal cell what is meant by exactly ribosomes okay so these ribosomes are the granule like structure present in the cytoplasm so these are the granule like these are the small granule like structures scattered in the cytoplasm the scattered means not spread everywhere in the cytoplasm and these ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis okay so the protein synthesis is takes place in the ribosome protein synthesis is takes place in the ribosome okay so see here what we have discussed about the ribosome these are the small granule like structure which are present in the cytoplasm and scattered all over get spread all over the cytoplasm and they are the site for the synthesis of protein now the last one we will discuss that is what golgi bodies okay now what is meant by golgi bodies so these golgi bodies are made up of the different tubules and the vesicles now vesicles is like this like this like these structures are there okay the sac like structure which are getting over one by one collected one by one we can say like that the, it is made up of what tubules and the vesicles and it is responsible for the secretion of the different chemicals enzymes and the and it is responsible for the secretion of the different chemical substances like enzymes hormones and the proteins okay so these golgi bodies are the these are the cell organelles and we have they are they are the tubules and the vesicles they are in the form of tubules and the vesicles also they are helpful they secrete the different types of the chemical reaction chemical substances like that we can say that enzymes are there then hormones are there and the proteins so they are used to secrete all these different things okay so in the plant cell these golgi bodies are called as dictyosomes Powerhouse of cell. 
नेक्स्ट वन द वेक्टर्स फ्रॉम द सेल सरफेस व्हाट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द अदर वेक्टर्स स्टोर्स द डाइजेस्टेड फूड आल्सो इट स्टोर्स द वेस्ट फूड एंड द सिक्रेशन ऑफ द सेल इट मिक्स इनटू द वाटर एंड देन इट फॉर्म्स व्हाट सेल सैक रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम टू टाइप ऑफ द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम रफ एंड स्मूथ रफ इज हैविंग राइबोसोम्स स्मूथ डजंट हैव द राइबोसोम्स ऑन इट next one we have discussed about the ribosome these are the granular like structures small granular like structures scattered all over everywhere in the cytoplasm and it is the site for the protein synthesis golgi bodies it is a tubules and in the form of tubules and the vesicles it is responsible for the formation of the different chemicals like hormone enzymes and protein and in the plant cell the golgi bodies are called as what rhizomes okay so this is all about today today we have discussed this five cell organelles remaining we will discuss in the next video and for today thank you